TFNN. Headline News Update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here. Just finished the Tiger Technicians Hour, 10 o'clock to 11. He has the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update on this Friday, the, uh, January the 6th. We're looking at a huge move up in the Dow. Obviously, it liked the news, the economic news earlier on, although it was kind of a mixed uh, message. So the Dow's at 517 and 33,447 in this rectangle formation. If it can push much higher, if it can get to the 33,500, maybe even 33,600 by um, Monday or Tuesday, it negates this rectangle formation in a very short period of time. That'll be really good if it suddenly turns around by the end of the day and then has a week. Uh, Monday, it says you're just stuck in a range. But so far, this is very good action. Looking at the S&P finally uh, having a decent up move that so far is holding. It's up 59 at 38,067. Uh, 38 the QQQ uh, also having a very good session. Now it's up $4 at 265. Looking at the IWM, the Russell 2000, up nicely. Oh, in a leg C to the upside at 177.31, up 363. Gold had a very, very big move earlier on, and it's extending that move. It's up 26 at 1867, looking very good. Looking at the dollar, did rally, but it's given back some of that. Uh, no, now it's down. It's down 61 ticks at 104.55. You're looking at the TLT. This is the bonds. Oh, huge move. So yields are coming down. A lot of things are coming together for the chance to sustain a move to the upside, which is one of the reasons we got a little bit more aggressive on the downside, long side. We'll see if that holds. Looking at crude oil, uh, crude oil is uh, it's doing okay. It's up $1.19 at $74.87 in the lower range. Actually, the, um, the oil rigs are starting to move nicely. But I just wanted to show you this <clears throat> in the uh, very short term. If you're using the E-mini futures, the S&P, <clears throat> We're in a leg C in the 10-minute chart and in the chat wave methodology. If you get a buy signal to buy mode, which you're in right now, look how nicely the 9 is over the 14 period moving averages. This should go to at least a leg D, and then you've got to make some decision if it gets to a peak D about the E mini 10-minute chart. Very, very strong, up uh, 61.50. Um, and with that, I think we're just about to wrap up. Great programming. Steve recorded his show a little earlier at 8 o'clock this morning. And uh, most importantly, what we're looking at is uh, programming all the way through today. Should be a wonderful day. Tom O'Brien wraps it up. Tommy O'Brien starts it off at 9 a.m. Uh, check out my opening call daily newsletter, and I'll be back on Monday. Have a great day.